Hello and welcome to this video. Today I've got some not so nice news which are also kind of urgent because LEGO will discontinue the support for some of its apps which also means that they will be removed from the app stores. So the first app which will be discontinued uh, after this year, so beginning of 2024, it will be discontinued and removed from the app stores. It's the LEGO Education Spike Legacy app. And there's a new version, there's the normal LEGO Education Spike app, which you can still use, which will still be supported, but the Spike Legacy app uh, will not be supported after the end of 2023. The Redo 2.0 software will be discontinued. There will still be the store not available afterwards, but it will be removed from the stores, which means that it won't be possible to download uh, the app on new tablets or new iPads. So you can use this app on Windows and you can use this app on Mac OS after it got discontinued, but it won't be available as a new download on Android and iPad on offici uh, official ways because it will simply be rem removed from the app stores. Same goes for the LEGO Mindstorms EV EV3 app. There's the Classroom app and the lab software and the Classroom app is this newer Scratch-based software, which will be discontinued and removed from, from the app stores, same as we do 2.0. The Mac OS version and the Windows 10 version will still work, but and will still be available as store from the site, but you won't be able to use the versions which uh, are available in stores and can't be downloaded as an installer. Um, we also got the discontinuation of the EV3 lab software, which is based on LabVIEW. And for that one, you can still download the standalone. It never was published in any app stores. So this is probably the best software to install the EV3 and still available. Also, all of the links that I show here will be available in the video description. Um, a bit more severe is the discontinuation of the EV3 Home app, um, because it's only available in app stores, even the Windows 10 version, I can show it in the Microsoft Store, is only uh, available as a Microsoft Store version and not as a single installation or insta installable file. Some versions like the Android tablet version are already discontinued. So you won't be able to use the, or to, to get the Mindstorms EV3 Home app, the newer one, after the discontinuation, which I think is pretty severe and pretty sad. So if you want to use this software or any of the other ones uh, after the discontinuation and you don't have them already, make sure to download them before uh, the end of the year, because afterwards they might not be available anymore. There's also for the home edition of the EV3, the uh, retired software, which is based on LabVIEW. The Mac OS version doesn't work on recent Mac computers anymore, but you can still get the PC version and it still works. It also has more features than the Scratch-based version, so uh, I would suggest the software anyways. And apart from the executables, which are still available, and maybe some workarounds with APK file files for Android, which you can download uh, somewhere. There are a few alternatives, which might be worth a try for the different systems. For example, there's Open Roberta Lab, which supports the NXT, the EV3, Redo 2.0, and Spike Prime. Uh, so you can use the software to program these systems as an alternative. It's also very similar to Scratch. You've got for the more advanced users EV3 dev, which you can use to, for example, program your EV3 in Python. And there are really many things that you can do with EV3 dev. There are also official scratch extensions for the EV3 and for Video 2.0. You can also use this to program your systems. And of course, you can use Pybricks to program Spec Prime and Spec Essential. And, and there's also now a block coding option. So you're not limited to, to Python, you can also use block coding, uh, but it's, uh, it costs money. So um, these are the options after the discontinuation of the apps. 
the most simple way is to download them while they're still, uh, still there. And I suppose that you can still download them afterwards if you re registered them to your account. For example, if you have a Google Play account, you can, or I think that you will still be able to download them after you have them in your account, but you won't be able to add it to new accounts. So you might want to make sure to add them to your account while they are still available. And they are free. So if you plan to use or to buy the sets in the future, just make sure to add them to your account. But that was it for this not so nice update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.